So, family's a weird concept to me, more or less because ever since I was young, life just more has felt like a fucking science experiment because, one, I'm an orphan. Two, I don't get what any of these words mean around to me. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Where the fuck are these people? Why the fuck? And it wasn't until I started asking more questions and being around a lot of people and starting to stop and blah, this and blah, that. Well, I've come to learn it just all depends on the room and how educated that they are and how tolerant they are of people of your difference, whether you're melanated, rather you're young, rather you're asking too many questions, rather you're not asking the right questions, rather you're not asking enough questions, rather you're not using the uh, right formatting of words. It is literally so many flipping variables on why you might have issues in communicating and furthering your progression in earlier stages in life, if not later stages in life. It's just fucking redundant. And I'm very aware of that for the fact that I overthink just the minute things to the fucking important things to the things I'm just like, fucking nothing's really important. But what I've come to learn about family is essentially family just people you shouldn't fuck couldn't fuck but then again there's a whole entire incest thing and that's not even due to poverty that could also be due to misinformation because traveling father or slut of a mom or what the fuck you want to call it they're both sluts in the sense or because of the bloodline you want to keep it pure you want to keep that money inside the family so there's many reasons for them very high astute keeping the shit elite to fucking I don't, I don't fucking know I just I thought she was pretty I stuck my thing in the hole and ah! though she's my mother though she's my cousin though to the demented yeah i fucking knew it was my sister i've been trying to fuck this bitch for years yeah i knew it was my mother i've been trying to get my dad out the picture yeah i knew who the fuck it was that's why i wanted it so badly there's so many different reasons why people are demented and fucked up but nobody wants to think about the mindset nobody wants to think about the environment nobody wants to put money into it because we make money off not necessarily me but the system makes money off the fact that it's broken the system makes money off the fact that it's not putting the money into the right places they're literally intentionally pulling money out of certain aspects in certain areas therefore they still have that corruptedness of Keeping it funded because essentially every time I think about a business, everything, 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 everything is a fucking business from oxygen tanks, from fucking pools. So from fucking drinking to fucking walking to fucking breathing, to fucking sleeping, to fucking living, to fucking eating, to fucking thinking, everything you can sell from your body to your fucking Amet not amenities, but from your body to your fucking body parts, anything could be sold from your fucking skin to your fucking follicles. Anything can be sold. And the more that I learn about, it, the more I'm just like, is that everywhere? Or is that just in the place that I reside? And mm, some places are worse, some places are better. But what I've just come to learn is just this is a bigger prison system. And family, well, that's just a cult essentially. It's just a group. It's just people that look like you that you can't screw. They are just, I don't know. From an orphan mindset, I've seen so many issues to the whole entire communications fact of I get where there is a disconnect into the family correlation because mom and dad may have been foul. Children might have been foul. Environment might have been foul. Uh, higher ups that were in around the children, around the parents, and that just stems back from farther and farther and farther and farther. And the issue with that is people just want to more or less pass down the generational, you treated me like this, so I'm going to treat them like this. They were being dicks and bosses to me. Well, you're younger than me. You're under, you're an underling. So they essentially pass down the hatred and anger. And I always think when I enter in scenarios, because don't get me wrong, I am actually just as pissed as I am happy. But I always make the decision before I open my mouth. How do I want to present myself? And once I make this commitment to be an asshole, that means I have to be an asshole forever. And that means I'm always going to get rude remarks. That means that if anything bad happens, of course I did. That means I'm always going to be the villain in every scenario because, well, of course the assholes did. Who else would fucking do it? So I try to be nice in the ways that I can be nice without allowing my boundaries to be trampled. But at the same time, I wasn't allowed to develop any boundaries because I grew up in an environment where there was a need that needed to be uh consumed and even though there was somebody that was taking care of that need that wasn't enough because i live in an environment with somebody that i believe does have very horrible mental health which is why her dogs act the way that they do is because they literally are bonded to her and her anxiety feeds off in their anxiety so when she freaks out they freak out and it's just tied energies and i realized as time has developed other people are starting to see oh there is something wrong with her but you know what uh, it's it's not enough for us to really care. We don't know why we won't care about you enough. It's just like, 
yeah, we all had a hard life. We all have a violin. Like, shit, what what are you bitching about? Oh, just because you have less than 5000 Bitch, I've never seen $5,000 in my hand. Like, I work so fucking much, but the way that I work and the way that I value work and the way I learn work to be is... Growing up, work is not valued unless it's equated in money. But at the same time, you get work done at home and you uh, clean stuff and that's how you build a work ethic. But at the same time, what does that value equate to in life terms? Because, yeah, I clean my house, but I made no money. Yeah, I clean my car, but I made no money. Yeah, I clean my mind, but I made no money. And because of the environment that I currently live in, the society that I currently live in, money out dictate anything that you do so it doesn't necessarily mean how good you are they might question the means that it took for you to gain this but at the same time if nobody questions you because you're paying the right people you're rubbing the right elbows you're making the right people laugh and it's just like well they wanted to question me but do you know who i know of course you know and you'll never know because <laughs> everybody's got a special interest and if not well there's always going to be somebody that can disappear and reappear well they wouldn't listen to me so i put this place in person here i realize how life works so i live with no fear they'll take care of me once i become a big enough issue but what's the issue with me nothing really because nobody listens to me it's fine i'll still continue to speak even if they take these vocal cords i still got pencils and pens and even if they take that away from me i'll always figure out how to do because you can't take the leader out out of the group even if you take the group away from the leader i know that i was meant to do something i just don't always know how to do family is just whoever the fuck you want to be around you those that you accept and it always bothers me to listen to everybody that reminds me of me because this is how i present myself to be always the one the backbone of the family gets the work done always isn't the one to get the money but still cleans up after everybody gets done with the party still picks up the things that everybody says hey i want hey i want hey i want hey i learned if i do too well then they won't respect me. They'll always want me. Like, come on, you're the best one, too. I'll gaslight you. I'll manipulate you. You ain't even smart enough, too. Shit, reverse psychology. Me. I really want to be good enough for you. Wait, no, fuck you. I just want to be good enough for me, and I didn't realize I had to be because of the placements that I was in. I have to be good enough for you. Because if I'm not, then who's to say you'll let me stay? It's sad to say that people are fucking demented and screwed up, and I gave birth to you. You should be happy for me. You should be taking care of me. You should be happy that I allowed you to be. I wasn't even with my birth givers. They just adopted me. So what stories would they have told me? Like, really, we chose you. Of all the kids that we could have, we chose you. So why aren't you working for us? Come on, I bought you this. Why don't you want to make me happy? Don't you want to make me happy? They always use the stupid mental tactics on me. I'd rather been last because look at these bruises. Look at these marks. But no, it's all verbal psychology. Why are you so heavy on me? I'm... Not trying to be a bother to anybody, but everybody different. And that used to bother me. <sighs> I quit my job years ago of people pleasing. It doesn't fucking bother me if you're bothered by me. There are people that'd rather see me hang. There's people that won't put bullets through me and don't even know why I didn't even look at their girl. I'm not even trying to get their guy. I'm not even that guy, but fuck it. If you want to end me, just do it right here quickly in between my eyes i don't really give a fuck if i was supposed to live i will and if i'm supposed to die i will if i'm supposed to then i will but i don't believe it left here bleeding left here screaming left here questioning all the things family what the fuck does that mean <laughs> people you aren't supposed to fucking screw People that are, technically speaking, supposed to help you. If mommy and daddy taught you correctly, assuming that you don't have mental abnormalities, assuming the environment hasn't taken away your innocence to innocence, and this is why you'll always be guilty in a sense, because you realize through your real eyes of the lenses of reality when your parents aren't looking, there's monsters, even if... <laughs> Your parents are, they might be the monsters with the monsters trying to eat you, trying to kill you, trying to conform you to be something that you didn't want to be. I've heard so many stories. I've seen so many things. It's just like, oh, I can be worse.
People want to always yell and scream at me. You don't even know half the shit I do. I don't even think about it. I hear people bitch and I'm like, hey, if you remind me of me, the backbone of the family, always helping people, trying to create the joy, baking shit, making shit. Like I don't cook, but I do cook up happiness. You tell me just by me entering the room, you don't feel the shift. Like they all look at me just because of melanation or passively because the nails are painted. Maybe it's the teeth. I don't really know why people are attracted to me. I ask that because, yeah, I'm pretty, but, like, what the fuck does that mean? Am I good for you, or do you just think I am? Are you good for me, or do you not care about how I feel? It's all about you. See, this is why we can't be so many people be self-centered, and I'm a giver. I don't really take much, aside from bullshit, aside from criticism, aside from the pain that you don't want to deal with yourself. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Every time I get into conversations, I choose before I lose. Do I want to be that person that people continue to talk to? Or do I want to be that asshole? They're like, yeah, he did it. Even though I was nowhere near it. But like, mm, look at it. Think about it. Like, think of all the things that you've encountered with this person. Doesn't it sound like it? I'm trying to be nice because I'm sick and tired of seeing all this bullshit. I'm sick and tired of seeing the versions of me die off because of society, the socialism and the classes. Uh, the so the social way that they do it like <laughs> you're a good person so take all the fucking weight and you can always wait you don't need us right the fuck now yeah i get how important it is and even though you don't make us wait yeah you got a 52 year i don't give a fuck how good you are i don't give a fuck how many cheeks you go to ears we don't care about you like we love you but to actually show it we ain't gonna come through we ain't gonna help you what we going to do we family I love you. That's enough to take care of you. That's enough substance. I don't need to actually put an arm in, put some money in, put some energy in. I'll put an ear in. Like, I don't need to. I'm family. Remember me? I know you've only seen me once, uh, but I'm family. Give me some money. I'm not coming off greedy. Remember me? I'm family. I'm older than you, so you gotta respect me. Remember me? Didn't we teach you generational shit? Respect your elders, even though we don't respect you? Shut the fuck up. We're trying to talk to you. We're trying to listen to you. Nah, nah, really. We're trying to mold you. This is how we were taught up. This is how we were brought up. Shut the fuck up. Move. Like we told you to. You're supposed to be a carbon copy of us. So why the fuck are you being so rude, so ugly, so nasty? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Didn't we teach you fucking better as we yelled at you? I don't know what the fuck family is to me. I just do the things that I do and I'm just like... I could screw anybody in this country. I ain't from here. But I'm still not horny because all this intelligent shit, I'm just like, ooh. <sighs> Would I want to have a kid with this family? Because you assume, like, <laughs> that body's all I got to worry about. And some people just like, yeah. And fuck that shit. But, like, I keep talking about how I want to make this world better. So how am I going to be a hypocrite? Yeah, I am hypocritical, and I'll admit that shit. But there's a lot of shit that I say and do and things that I would say you should but would never because, well, I ain't got the skills to. But if I did do, I would do. But I don't do, so I don't think to. So why the fuck would you guys be mad at me because I'm halfly hypocritical? At least I still do. I don't see the reason why to be so angry, even though I do. Like, I really want to come out with my fist swinging, but I ain't the asshole that committed crimes when I didn't really do much. Unless people want to put their hands on me, go ahead, try to attack me verbally. I'm used to this shit. I've been bullied ever since I was. It don't really bother me. At this point, I'm a seasoned vet of getting this shit on me. Like, y'all, come up with new shit. I've already heard it. Come on, porch monkey. Yeah, I love porches. What, monkey? Yeah, I do love climbing. What, <laughs> nigger? Sometimes I am ignorant. What the fuck does family mean? I don't fucking know. I just know when people ask for help, as long as you feed me, respect me, and always allow me to be myself, I guess your family to me. Which is why I'm always willing to help a handful of people. And the funny thing about it is I'll help a certain person in the family, within their family, but I'll still ignore everybody else because everything's personal. I could literally, and that's why I don't always like to fuck with certain people because I will keep my shit personal. 
And that's how I always think about it. Like, if I ever did anything dangerous, it's still personal. It's you and I. I don't hate anybody else if anybody else wants to get into the fucking beef and fuck it. Like, yeah, we can make it them and I and you and I. But still, it is literally personal. If I have an issue with you, I have an issue with you. If I don't have an issue with you, I don't have an issue with you. But I do get where some families are not like gangs, essentially. And how I think of gangs is basically like fuck with the police, fuck with any gang. You fuck with them, you fuck with all of them. But the families I've come to come encounter with is just like... I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm the black sheep and I always find black sheeps, but that's why I typically find. So if you fuck with one person in that family, it's just literally that one per person. It's just like, damn. And you want to hope that you don't fuck with the most solid person. But I always seem to see the most solid person doing all this work. And people love them, but do they always appreciate them? And sometimes the solid people can't always get along. They just butt heads with each other. Because there's sometimes more than one solid person in the family. But like, I've always thought the family dynamic should always be better. I have always thought how life should have been is every single family is able to build up generational wealth because you have three kids. They're all able to work. They're all able to think for themselves. You taught them all enough. They have, they might have mental abnormalities, but at the same time, you didn't fucking patronize them. You didn't fucking beat them. You didn't cuss them out. You took the time to call them and teach them the ways that they're able to learn. And you guys were able to build the family funds from mom working, dad working, brother, sister, brothers and brothers, all of them working five incomes into one home instead of just... See, that's where Pride and Ego became an issue and the fact that they didn't really want to teach us and the frick... Like, there's so many variables that goes against you, but I don't know. I've always thought, for as much as I think, if I did what I did... You think I did on fucking accident? Might have been. I sometimes do things accidentally on purpose. There's a purpose for it, but can't really come up to the surface in my mind. What? <laughs> it will come out in time. I just figure I will help who I can help within the realm, realms of them helping and respecting me because I don't even know what to ask for. When I do the things I do, people always say thank you. They always feel grateful. Like, I look at their faces, but I'm just like, I hear you begging. It's really not that much of a daunting task to fucking do. It's all you asked was, you need somebody to move hay with you guys. Okay, that's fine. You need somebody to help you clean the house. That's fine. You need somebody to watch your child for a hot couple hours. That's fine. You needed somebody, blah, this, blah, that. And, like, I don't have issues with doing any of those tasks within the reasonings of you're not an asshole about it. You're grateful. You pass that good energy forward and you're just not being nice to me just to be nice to me because, well, you have something that I want. And because of that, well, <laughs> time to start acting. Okay. Woo! Now that I got it, fuck everybody. And like I've come to learn I more or less am better about picking bad people compared to good people. But what I've come to think about is I'm better at picking anti-heroes because a true hero would let you die. An anti-hero. He might kill you if he figured out you're the bad guy, but the hero would never kill you. But if the hero always imprisons you and you always escape from prison, then isn't the hero essentially just as bad as the bad guy? But what makes him any good for killing it? Because an eye for an eye. But, well, sometimes one life is worth 100,000. To say if I let that one life live and it kills 100,000, well, and... Self-defense, who's to say that life that I'm fighting hasn't tried to end my life? And for the fact that I've been able to come out on top, I have the decision to either take their life or let it live. But at the same time, who's to say that they'd give me that chance? Who's to say because I wasn't the better fighter, I didn't get lucky that they would give me the exact same chance? I always think about that when it comes to helping people out and giving them the advantage. Like, I've literally spent so much time in my head. I've learned in certain environments and certain homes. If I don't start doing it as the guest, and I love this, because people say, oh, you don't have to do much of the guest. And in certain homes, like, you do everything. You're the guest. Like, And I just never fucking know. I just wish people were open and honest about that when I entered and start being around them because I don't know like what can I do what can I do so I'm just like and certain homes I can basically do whatever the fuck that I want to it's basically like a second house to me and in certain homes I've come to realize when certain people are asking for help and they can't quite get the help 
I just start doing shit. Because I honestly, how I think is, I don't want to hear you bitch anymore. I get that you need help, and I get that you won't get help. But if I start doing it, because I, like I said, I'm always in my head. I started making notes throughout the years. But I know if I start doing it and helping people in their homes start picking up some shit, either they'll start doing it themselves as well, or the other people in the house will also help too. And it's just like, why do I have to be the mover? Why do I have to be the pusher? Like, they don't necessarily stick on to it and always stay driven, but it's for the fact that... It went from two hands to four hands to six hands to eight hands back down to at least four hands, but it's still more hands, more bodies, and they're not always getting in the way. And for the fact that it seems like in certain instances, I feel like I have to give the directory low role where I'm just like, all right, hey, could you take this, put it over here? Can you take this, put it over here? And, hey, will you help me grab this up? And I don't mind it, but my issue has always been I was never taught to be a leader, so I don't really know how to lead, even though on multiple occasions, people will literally stop and be like, what should we do? What the fuck you mean? What should... Are you asking me? What, what? 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 Huh? Why? I'm only nine. I'm only ten. I'm only eight. I'm only six. Why? I know I keep saying that because that's literally as much as young as I've been being looked at. Like, why the fuck do you want me to lead? I barely know this language. Like, now I feel a little bit more comfortable to be in leader positions, but it's just depending on what am I leading? Because I'm not always going to say I'm always the best leader. Fuck no. A good leader knows when they're not good at leading. I know I'm not good at leading a lot of rooms, but in a lot of rooms, I'm also a good leader. And it's when it comes to getting shit done. Don't just say, let's get it done. Let's get it done. It's like, all right, let's, we sat down in certain instances, we'd sit down, make a plan and execute it. In certain instances, we'd just start doing it. But at the same time, it's just, how long can you nag before the nagging just seems futile? How much can you bitch before the bitch seems futile? How much can you say, help, 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 but if you ask for help, help's not coming. But also within certain instances, instances, you could be the enabler of the whole entire environment. Like I realized in the home that I live in, there are two people that help clean the house, but essentially six that used to make a mess. And the annoying part is for the fact that there's two cleaners, one that is very old and has arthritis. And then there's me that has my moments where I'll want to clean the whole entire house, where I don't want to clean the whole entire house, where I want to work out and live my own life. Like, I want to have my own independent life outside of always being like the housemaid, the chauffeur, the this, the that. And I've always felt like, I feel like I'm stuck in a position where if I leave, that would be great for me. But financially wise, I don't have good records and rapports with jobs because they, I overwork myself, not realizing I'm overdoing. Because people say I go above and beyond, but I'm just like, what's that? Because I don't even know what the fuck the bare minimum is when it comes to doing shit. I'm just like, okay, it works. It works for me. It's what I feel like I should do. It's what I feel like needs to be done. And that's what most would consider above and beyond. It's like most people wouldn't even do a quarter of that, half that, even think of that. And I'm just like, I. I was just in the job in the moment and you're you told me get the job done okay well to me get the job means get the job done anything means necessary however long it takes and it shouldn't take any longer than how long I feel it should take and I always think move fast get it done 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 and like I will admit I will have tasks that I tell myself I'm supposed to do but I don't always get done because I get distracted doing one thing over another or I just have laughings on my head or I go into a paralysis mode and I realize in certain instances, I'm better working if I'm working for other people than I am by myself and also helping out others compared to myself. But I've also had to try to rethink myself as trying to help out a friend because that's the only way I can really get more or less things done for me because, like I keep saying, I'm better off helping others than I am myself. But what good am I for me if I can't help myself, but I can help others? I just hope when it comes to my turn to getting around and financially set up and get my whole family around, I do not not only raise kids that are bitter towards me and aren't listening and that won't try to help. Because how I think about it is what helps you helps me, what helps me helps you, and what helps us helps the environment. 
But most people are just like, fuck it. I'm out here for me. I'm out here for me. I'm out here for me. And I do get it. You have to be selfish to a certain extent because if you're not selfish, you're not going to be able to elevate. You're not going to be able to get into the positions that you want to. But I also realize that there are people that are going to forever be gatekeeping in certain positions. So it's just like, why be selfish when it doesn't matter how selfish I am? They're going to stop me in certain rooms, in certain areas. I'm going, need to, I'm going to need to build the momentum myself. It's just building the confidence to be able to build the momentum in my own room until either I become so big that they silence me or until gatekeeping isn't an issue. And family, to me, just seems like a great way to gatekeep people from wanting to be themselves because they want mom and dad's acceptance, want big brother's acceptance, mom, sister's acceptance, little nieces, this, that. So they won't want to paint their nails. They don't, won't want to let their hair grow long. They won't want to do what they want to do because they don't want to deal with the constant bullying, the uh, reject because of this, because of that, because of the whole entire generational past of, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. And it just, it's like, why? Like people say, I don't like you to me. And I'm just like, okay, I don't like me either, but like I am me. Some days I love me more and I don't. Some days I don't even think about me. Some days I forget. Some days I, some days I do. And it's just like, why'd you have to tell me that? It's how I think about it. You can choose to be rude and you can choose to be mean and you choose to be mean. Well, Okay your life it's your choices do what you're gonna do i'm just glad i don't have to be locked in a room with you i'm just glad you're not part of my family i'm just glad that i was born an orphan because <laughs> all the people that hurt me were just strangers that knew my identity or at least knew what i looked like